Hi, it's Cheryl back with you from Farmhouse Frugally with this lamp that my husband picked up at the good table at the dump a week or two ago. And of course, I knew right away what I'd like to do with it. If you've ever seen Julia Julie Designs, she does the most beautiful candlesticks, so follow her. And the first thing I had to do was remove the lamp mechanism, a little harder than I thought it was going to be, but got that accomplished. <laughs> then I went through my stash and I found this wood wood round that I think is called like a wreath sign or a wreath something at the dollar store and um, you can see that this paint job was a little bit chipped up and a little worse for wear but it also had the hole left from the cord so I took my wood filler and I filled in that um, lamp cord hole and then I also filled in the wreath where the string was on the round and let that dry and then once that was dry, sanded those pieces, and then I needed to attach them. So I took both my E6000 for a permanent hold and my hot glue gun for a quick hold. And never, ever, ever mix these. So I did four dots of one and four dots of the other separated, and then found center and put the top right on that, and then pressed it down. And I waited overnight before I touched it because I wanted a good, strong hold. And so here it is. Um, and then I took it out to my garage and uh, wanted to give that a good sanding. So using the orbital sander, you can see it was already chipped on the edges. I like that look, so I wanted that actually more, more distressed. So I took that uh, orbital sander by DeWalt and I went ahead and I went and gave it a good distressing when I could, where I could, um, with the sander. Tried to go around the round and on top of it just to make everything smooth. But I did have to then take just a piece of the sandpaper and do some of the parts by hand where I couldn't reach the um, top of it and such with the... Uh, the sander and I uh, gave that a really good sanding all together all over and then wiped it down and then I took my antiquing wax by bear and I went ahead and antiqued the whole piece and then wiped it off with a rag to give me that farmhouse look and then I put the stain all over the top the same antiquing wax to give that a two-tone look and it really came out nice. I like it. Um, it's very farmhouse. And here it is beside the birdhouse that I made the other day. If you didn't see that video, that is in my list of videos. Here it is with a little bird perched on top of it. Now, obviously, you could put a number of things on here, a candle, obviously. But this, I think, is my favorite. I had done this little pot quite some time ago. It had a little lid, so I put some greens in there, stuck the lid in the middle, and I thought that looked adorable on top. So let me know what you think of this. And then as a little bonus, I did another birdhouse the other day. It was really kind of worse for wear. I've had it for years, blue little church looking thing, and uh, needed a little loving. So uh, my husband had picked up this cute uh, pink hummingbird feeder. So I matched it to to go with that by just painting it and putting a stamp on it and here it is so so cute now my question for you i have this falls craft basket adorable as is i paid a buck it's worth 15 on ebay should i paint the top and give it an iod stamp and maybe change the color of the basket so that it's not blue and white or would you leave it alone i feel like falls craft is a little 1970 maybe i'm aging myself but um it's not my thing but what do you think is that still farmhouse to you thanks for watching please give me a thumbs up and share if i get a hundred um, subscribers to my channel i'll be able to add so much more uh, content to youtube so thanks a lot for following me and i'll catch you next time take care